Okay, so we're... Oh yeah, we are in... Auto scrolling and we're at some... Whoopsie! Whoa, 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 whoa! Get back here! Hit Mario! Mario? No, don't hit that! Don't hit that! Grab the star! Well, this came off to an excellent start now, didn't it? Completely forgot I was in an auto scrolling part. Which is never, ever a good thing. As for one, you guess. As I said, unless there is like some sort of reason behind it, I've never been one for auto scrollers. Like, if we were, even if all we were doing is being chased by a spiked wall, that will be enough. To satisfy me. Drop the stars! Again, not that this is going to be a 100% run, but... I am under the strong assumption we are about to go to the end boss. Quite possibly after this auto-scrolling level. And I want as many stars as I can find. If for no other reason. Then, well, insurance. And I just hit the checkpoint. Oh, come on! Get down here, baby Mario. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Will this be the last video of this LP? Probably not. Because I know that this boss comes in sections, or stages, or what have you. Now you ask me to hand over the baby? You've been attacking me all this time, and now you ask me to hand over the baby? Hey, here's a question I just thought of. Young... Bowser. Bowser's the Koopa Prince, not the Koopa King right now. So who is the king? Who's the who's the queen? Who's the who's in charge? Queen of Crap, baby talk. For what is going to be a very obnoxious brat. I'm not. Assuming I don't know how to kill. What's your name? Well, I guess I don't get... I guess I don't get hit by those things. And something just fucked up with my controller, but it seems to be working now.
That's right, how do I kill this guy? Do I... Do I turn on his head? Well, I'm guessing that's not it. But you know what? I am starting at that checkpoint. And now I'll save it right here. While I try and figure out how to attack this guy. Well, I put this bounce on his head for all eternity, but... That's how! Okay, that's what I saw, but still... Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! Come on. Okay, let's... Okay, I guess that was it. Second stage! Final stage? Already? No. No. Yeah. Okay. Safe state. Am I recording? Yes, I am. That's a relief. Just saying. Just saying. Come on, come on, where's the egg? Where's that big giant egg? It just dawned on me. You're basically killing the final boss of this game by egging it. Is it just me or is that a little, I don't know, wrong? Come on, get this guy, you stupid schmuck. By the way, I'm bugging to me, you're not Yoshi. There we go! One. Never time that you feel like a stupid schmuck. What is a schmuck anyways? This isn't like the skin of the... Foreskin of the circumcised of an uncircumcised penis or something. There, I got him. And how, how many times do I have to hit this guy? I'm guessing eight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did I get that egg from? Where did I get that egg from? Do I carry multiple eggs? Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait, did he s did that guy just suicide for a Prince Bowser? Hits that, that's gotta hit him. Now I do believe that, um, although it does get significantly more hectic, as the fight progresses, because he starts coming up faster. Actually, easier to hit. I think anyway. Because as it gets closer, much easier to aim. You will think much easier to aim. Well, I am having a bloody terrible time. Doesn't go back as far as it. Wait a minute, did he just show up? Did he just start running up now or something? Yep, okay. Okay, clearly. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Low state. This is going to be the final video of this LP, unless something fucks up on my end. Which may very well happen, I might. Get a cord or something. What am I going to do after this? That's been something I've been thinking of for a while, and... I honestly don't know. Like, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do after this. Good idea what I'm gonna do after Fantasy Star 4. And aside from that, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Well, I am having a much better time at it, at it this time. Whoopsie daisy. I don't want you to know what I'm adjusting my glasses, all these things are about to fall down. Probably not a good idea to do that. I'm in the head. Him in the head, not in the head, not over. I just gotta hit him, or not. Then I say this fight gets easier as it as it progresses. Like the target's a lot bigger. Target significantly bigger. I just went right over his head again. I mean, I feel like I'm telling bad jokes. Because I am the kind of guy who does make up jokes, and they tend to be terrible. 
terribly bad. But terrible. Always oh, knocks him back all the way. I'm guessing I can't miss with these ones. Did I miss? Well, sweet mother of hell, I did it. You know, for something that was intended to be a let suffer, this is honestly not that insufferable, although... It probably be was for the people watching it. I am significantly terrible at platformers now. I mean, back in my use, I was great at these games. Back in my use, I was playing essentially nothing but these kinds of games. But that was well over 30 years ago. What have been 30 years about? Well, perhaps not for this particular game. But yeah, 30 or so years ago. I'm getting old. And bitter. Oh, who am I kidding? If anything, I'm less bitter now than I was when I was young, so... Well, thank you, Ophi. The twins will meet the parents soon, okay? Um... I'm assuming there's more to it than this. And now for the credits to roll. <coughs> As I introduce the credits with a burp, apparently. And not even a good burp, that was a pathetic burp. Why does Yoshi sound like some sort of weird frog? Oh, never mind, we destroyed the castle. And place our flag. Have we been invading the whole time? I mean, it, I guess it could be argued that we weren't invading, we were taking back our land. But the Koopa Kingdom does not belong. Yoshi that belongs to the Koopas, and we just invited, apparently, their capital. Please tell me this isn't lagging. This is lagging, isn't it? You're totally not. Well, I'm still gonna let it play out. Chances are everyone who is watching this has stopped watching uh, quite some time ago. And I really wouldn't blame them. I mean, when I'm watching my own NLP, unless it's someone I really enjoy. Once the credit starts rolling, I usually go, okay, I'm done. Unless it's an LP or I really enjoy, like, um, hmm. The two that immediately come to mind are Nintendo Capri Sun and HC Bailey. So, Nintendo Capri Sun has been lately doing games that I just have little to no interest in, but you know what? It's his channel. He can do what he wants with it. Right now, HC Bailey is doing a game that I really don't 
have no one person, so I'm currently not watching at least that LP of his. Um, right now, I've been pretty much playing Dragon Age Origins and doing this. The only real reason I'm even playing Dragon Age Origins is I picked up Inquisition quite some time ago. Relatively recently started to play it. And then went, okay, maybe I need to sort of refresh. And I have played the original Dragon's Age. I haven't played Dragon Age 2. I am going to after I play Dragon's Age Origins and before I play Inquisition. Wish me luck, I've heard nothing but, um... Let me put it to you this way. Even the positive things... And I'm saying that word loosely, but the positive things I've heard about Dragon Age 2 has been... Less than positive. And you can blame EA for that. Number one E, remember when Electronic Arts was actually pretty damn good? Like, wasn't it voted the most hated company now? I mean, I knew it was uh, quite some time ago, like... A beat out of corrupt bank that was somewhat directly responsible for the 2007-2008 recession. So I'm guessing that's when it was voted. Or, or afterwards, I don't remember, but... I heard that EA lost the um, exclusivity contract for the Star Wars games, and that makes me very happy. I also heard Ubisoft pretty much immediately did announce the Star Wars game after it was discovered that EA no longer has the only rights to make them. The only EA Star Wars game that I've played, and I actually played it relatively recently, was Star Wars Squadrons. Which is a good game overall, if it wasn't for the fact that it was so cheesy. So... Politically correct, and so goddamn short. I'm glad I did not pay full price for it. Because that was even less than an FPS for me. I like first person shooters, I really do, but they're games I don't pay full price for. If for no other reason, then let's be perfectly honest, modern day first person shooters focus a lot on the online experience. And I don't do online. Star Wars Squadrons was... Well, I mean, let's be honest, it's basically meant to be nothing but an online game, but they threw in a campaign just for shits and giggles, I guess, and it shows. It shows. It was... very poorly done. The gameplay itself is excellent. That campaign was very poorly done. And while I did not beat it in one sitting, I mean, it could easily be beaten in one sitting. Like, and not even like a full day or full night sitting like a It was way too short. And just way too, like, there were things about it where it's just sort of a... Okay, I know why you're doing this and it's to appease 
he's a politically correct. I think one thing that really confused me is I could have sworn the Empire, the Imperials, had a gay starfighter. I could have sworn one of the males mentioned having a husband. Bear in mind, this was the Imperials, not the Rebels, not the good guys. This was the big, bad, evil villains. And it was just a sort of, what the fuck? And speaking of what the f oh no, maybe not. There's more. Well, I guess the people who decided to skip out on the credits are going to be missing this now. And we know due to your Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island 2 or whatever it's called, the game for the 3DS that they delivered the baby to the wrong house. Spoiler alert, they delivered the baby to the wrong house. If you don't like spoilers, don't come to me. Spoilers to me are a necessity. Because I hate it when people go, okay, you, you gotta watch this game, watch this movie, you gotta play this game, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Well, if you don't tell me the spoilers, I'm not gonna fucking do it. I had no interest in the game before, or the movie before, or the show before. And if you're not, not going to tell me why I must watch it, then I'm not going to watch it. I don't get upset by spoilers. If anything, I need them. That, and I just can't stress this enough, I hate surprises. Those are some ugly parents. Those are some ugly babies. Also, it was Mario we were delivering, which means Luigi. So does that make Luigi the elder child and therefore the more important one? Oh, I'm rambling here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.